jolly, jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know, everyone you meet. Oh, oh, the mistletoe hung where you can't see. Somebody waits for you. Kiss her once for me. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And in case you didn't hear, oh by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. You going to play now? Oh, hi Patrick. I didn't see that choir yesterday. My mom moved me to piano. How come? Mr. Humphrey says my voice could peel paint. Then, yeah, I'd go with piano. <laughs> There's so many people here, I'm really nervous. You're so good, why would you be nervous? I'm playing in front of all these people, what if I mess up? Just keep swinging. What? It's what my dad always says. No matter what curveballs come at you, you have to just keep swinging. But that's a baseball reference. Sure, but it still works. Come on, Kate, we're ready. Good luck. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present our last performer for this evening and my granddaughter, Kate Malone. Grandpa Joe, so I promised I'd call you after the audition. And? They won't make offers until Monday, but I felt like I was totally in the zone. I mean, I think it was my best audition yet. That's my girl. I knew all that hard work would pay off. I can't believe it. My Katie in the Rocky Mountain Philharmonic. Oh, Grandma would be so proud. Okay, well, I haven't gotten it yet. But you will. I know it. I'm going to go online right now and buy front row seats for their Christmas concert. Opening night. Oh, I love you, Grandpa. Thank you for the confidence. I will, um, I'll call you. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, I love you, too. All right. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. Ah! Are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. My case got caught in the door. As you can see here, when the door closed on your hand, you dislocated the proximal interphalangeal joints here and fractured ring and pinky fingers here and here. I know it sounds really bad, but you're going to be fine. Will I be able to play again? Not for another six weeks. It'll take that long for the fractures to heal. But after some targeted physical therapy, you should recover fully. I haven't gone six days without playing the violin. What am I going to do for six weeks? Well, not much until that splint comes off. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, just enjoy the holidays. Right. You realize that the holidays and the violin go hand in hand for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just focus on this one hand for now. Oh, and uh, 
Tell Barb and Phil hello for me. Oh, I'll give them your best. Okay. Thank you. See you in six weeks. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. You must be excited to finally get your splint taken off. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, six weeks without playing is just crazy. You'll be back to your old self in no time. What is it? Tonight's opening night of the Philharmonic Christmas show. I would have been playing. Oh, I know, sweetie. But there's always next year. Besides, I'm sure there are plenty of other orchestras that would be lucky to snap you up. Thanks, Mom. You know, it's been so wonderful having you here these past few weeks. Mm -hmm. I'm sure sorry about the reason, but it's been so nice having you back in the store. I don't know what I'm going to do when you go back to Denver. You'll be fine without me. You are the best store manager this family has ever seen. Just don't tell Dad. Do you think we have enough trees, Dad? Oh, don't worry. I got more out in the car. <laughs> This one? Uh, that's okay if you like crooked branches. You're a crooked branch. You're a crooked branch. No, 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 no. Please, come on. No snowballs. <laughs> Please. Oh, look at this one. Buddy, you are way too short to decorate this tree. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm going to go pay for it. You try and get on top of the car. You serious? It's a little crooked. It is it, right? A little to the right? Oh, you guys, it's wonderful. They didn't have any taller ones? Unfortunately. I picked it. It was the best one. It's perfect. Thanks, Etsy Tess. How's that? Mm-hmm. Does that look good? Yeah. All right. Decorate it? Yes. Hey, Mom, did you eat? Oh, don't fuss. I know. I just making sure you're OK. Did you, uh... Did you do your exercises today? If you consider mixing the frosting for the Christmas cookies, then yes. That tree is really a beauty. <gasps> Mom's here! Thanks for your help with Gavin. You know Anne couldn't do this without you. Well, I, I also happen to enjoy it. Besides, that's what you do for family, right? Maybe it's time you consider having one of your own. My own what? Christmas tree? Is everyone throwing things at me today? Oh, hey, Gavin, did you forget something? Left arm. Hi. Thank you so much for helping out. Oh, yeah, sure. No, we had fun. How's everything at the restaurant? Super busy with Christmas bookings. It's a testament to your fantastic food. And delicious desserts. Mm hmm How about you? Have you heard back from Hands and Hearts yet? No, still waiting to hear. I don't know. I'm getting a little nervous now. I applied months ago. Do you really have to go? Why well, can't you just stay and be a doctor here? Kevin. That's okay. He's just worried he's going to miss his favorite cousin is all. We could still video chat all the time, and I would still come home and visit on the holidays, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Well, they'd be crazy not to hire you. Hope you're right. All right. Let's go, kiddo. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See you, Tess. How does it feel? Stiff. Mm -hmm. That's normal. Can you spread your fingers for me? Make a fist? Point up. Point down. Point to the geographic North Pole. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Or even a magnetic compass couldn't do that. Festive fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> uh, easy does it. The splints are off, but you're just at the beginning of your recovery. It's just, I know I asked you this last time, but 
Do you think I'll be able to play at the same level as, as before my injury? Well, it's hard to say now, but we'll know more in time. Physical therapy will be key. Now, luckily for you, we have an amazing DPT right here at the clinic. If anyone can get you back to 100%, he will. Okay. Well, I'm anxious to get started. How about tomorrow, 1030? Um, that's perfect. I, I like your socks, by the way. People love them. They help keep me in the spirit. <laughs> They're very festive. I got this tie, too. <laughs> <laughs> Gingerbread latte for Kate. Thank you. seen anyone sleep standing up before, but I learned in school it's called narco-sleepy. I think you mean narcolepsy. Mm, I don't think so. No? OK. Well, I was just listening to the music. Do you always listen to music with your eyes closed? Not always, but sometimes I think it helps me hear the music better. You should try it. I hear piano. Mm-hmm. And violin. Yeah. And someone just sneezed over there. <laughs> so you have good ears. I'm Gavin. What's your name? Kate Malone, the violin virtuoso. Patrick Walsh, the uh, tone deaf choir boy. Uh, so Kate Malone is of the famous Malone Music Store here in Boulder. They used to throw the most epic Christmas parties. Cool. Two candy cane hot chocolates with sprinkles and double extra whipped cream for Gavin. Yes! Double extra whipped cream. It's the way the kid likes it. It's been what, like? Too many years, too many years. How's music treating you? It's good, good, yeah, busy. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you're really in demand. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> you're traveling with these big touring shows all over the country. Yeah. Now, you're world famous here in Boulder. You realize okay. that, right? <laughs> okay. It's true. I didn't even recognize you without the violin I, case. Uh, I, uh, yeah, gave it the day off. So what brings you back to Boulder? Um, I, uh, I mean, it's the holidays. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just visiting. Nice. So. Yeah, what about you? Just, yeah. Yeah? Same. That's perfect. Your grandpa? Grandpa Joe just moved to Florida after Grandma passed, and he's having a blast. He loves it there. Double extra cream with sprinkles, just how you like it. No. Just like you love it. <laughs> you mean how you like it? What? What? I should, uh, I should go. It's great to see you. It was great to see you, yeah. It was good to meet you. Bye, Kate. Bye. See ya. Mm. Way to go, wingman. That's a wingman. Oh, no, 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 no. There are no other shapes for me. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Hey, hey sweetie. sweetie. I'm free. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just in time to help us decorate these beautiful shortbread trees. How about I just eat them? <laughs> <laughs> None shall resist the call of the Christmas tree shortbread. Mm, I know this sounds crazy, but somehow the tree-shaped ones just taste better than all the other shapes. <laughs> Victory! It's mine. <laughs> so how'd it go with Dr. Burke? It was good, I guess. Um, I'm still having some pain, but I start physical therapy tomorrow. He said it's important I start using my hand and fingers to try to regain my flexibility. 
Well then, I have just the thing. More bows? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I think you've got this covered, Dad. Don't you think a few more well-placed bows would really, you know, tie it all together? Uh, ho, ho, ho! Grandpa Joe! <laughs> hey, kiddo! Oh. <laughs> oh. We weren't expecting you for another couple of weeks. Would you believe I got tired of all that Florida sun? What? No. Smells like shortbread in here. Guilty as charged. They're not all tree-shaped, are they? Oh. <laughs> they are. How are you? <laughs> you look great. Well, I can't complain. After all, you're looking at the Martin County Doubles Pickleball Senior Silver Medalist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, congrats. That's two years in a row, isn't it? You know, if it weren't for Monty's lame serve, we'd have won gold. Oh, well, next year. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? Use more red bows if you can fit them. <laughs> that is exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Pardon me, just give me one more moment. Patrick? Okay. Wait, you're you're my physical therapist. Wait, well, hi. I, I thought, I you, thought were you were just visiting. visiting. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. No, 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 no. I, um, I didn't want to get into I, the coffee shop. Sure. I yeah, injured I, my hand like six weeks ago in Denver, and I've just been staying with my parents while I recover. I see. Yeah. Yeah. But, I had no idea you you moved back to Boulder and yeah. you started a practice and you had a son. Well, um, oh no 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 I don't have a son. Um, Gavin is Anne's son. Do you remember? Your cousin I, Anne. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What? And the move went. Oh uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't want to get into it either at the coffee shop. Uh, I moved back here last year after my father died. I wanted to be closer to my mom. That's sweet. How's she doing? She's good. She's good. She is dealing with a neuromuscular disease called charcot Marie Tooth, oh. uh, or CMT. CMT. I, I've never heard of it. It's the most common disease nobody's ever heard of, yeah. Mm. Uh, but it has been progressing these last few years, so she uses a wheelchair now. Oh, I'm sorry. But, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. She's a fighter. Mm. Yeah, nothing keeps her down. There is no cure still, but we're doing some new physical therapy, and I have some braces that hopefully she get her walking soon. Uh, yeah, her favorite time of the year is Christmas, so I know she's going to want to be stroll the market and be all fancy. I remember, fancy. I remember. Actually, I think this is her handiwork, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm telling you. She, <laughs> yeah, she hasn't missed a beat. Very lovely. Um, so did you, did you give up your practice in Philadelphia? Or? More like took a pause. Okay. Yeah, 10 years in Philly, a divorce. Suddenly not sure where life's gonna take me. I hear you. Yeah. Dr. Burke has been great giving me a spot here in the clinic, letting me just have some time to figure it out. And I'm gonna stop talking about myself. <laughs> Let's take a look at this grizzly hand of yours. <laughs> it's not grisly. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. Oh my! You gotta, you gotta prepare me for that. That was. <laughs> um. These are the two fingers in trouble, yeah? Do you have any pain? Uh, only when I do certain things. Maybe don't do those certain things. <laughs> Sorry. A little PT humor. <laughs> Just relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that hurts, yeah. Okay. Okay, all right. Have you tried playing since the splint came off? Last night, just barely. Let me guess. It hurt? It hurt. Yeah. yeah. It's okay, that's normal. Okay. All right. I'm really scared that I won't be able to play at the same level as before. You're gonna be better than ever. So I want you to practice these three times a day, and then I'll see you on Thursday. Okay. Thank you. Of course. Reach out if you have any questions, for sure. Is that Kate Malone? Tess! Hey! Oh, it's so good to see you. How are you? What brings you here? I hurt my hand in Denver six weeks ago, and Patrick is my physical therapist. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Seriously? 
That she hurt her hand, not that you're treating her. I know. <laughs> Wait, he's treating you too, right? He is, and he is quite the taskmaster, but he is the best. Yeah, this is what everyone says. Okay, enough stalling. Come on in. We have some intense core work to do today. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> it's so nice to see you. You too. Oh, why don't you come for dinner sometime? I would love to catch up. That sounds lovely. How about tonight? Tonight? tonight. I'm sure sounds she's busy. Sounds great, yeah. Right. Great. I, I will Right see. on, yeah. later for okay. some dinner. Okay, see ya. bye. That is so beautiful. You are so good at this. Thanks. It just takes me a little longer than most people, but you can't rush perfection. This is true. And I love the smell of fresh cedar. It smells just like Christmas. And uh, wreath making is, that's the perfect sort of activity for your hands, so I'm, I'm feeling real good about this. Okay. Now, dinner will be your reward. <laughs> pushy, isn't he? Oh, he's pushy, is. Yes. I would be helping you right now, but my world-famous secret meatloaf recipe is not going to make itself. Oh, the secret is lots of ketchup. Mom, <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's it like being a professional musician? It must be exciting. I've been playing violin my whole life. I mean, I can't even imagine doing anything else. I saw you in the show South Pacific a couple of years ago. You were in the orchestra pit. Really? Well, I didn't actually see you, but <laughs> I saw your name on the playbill. Hmm. Yeah, the last few years I've been working some touring shows to make ends meet. Life on the road must be a challenge. Sometimes, but I love playing so much. It totally makes up for it. Mm. And you are so good. Thank you. I remember how you always used to talk about how much you love the Philharmonic. Yeah, I still do. Patrick's father used to love going to their holiday Christmas concert every year. We all did, didn't we, hon? Christmas highlight. My grandpa took me to my first one when I was just about five years old. And just being there in that gorgeous hall, all dressed up with my grandpa and beautiful music and all the decorations. It was so magical. And I've been wanting to play on that stage ever since. Well, I say you heal that hand of yours and get right back on it. That sounds great. So, when we're done here tonight, do you think I can take home one of these beautiful wreaths? Nope. Mm. Uh -oh. I think that can be arranged. <laughs> of course. Thank you. Yes, my daughter will be starting music classes at school. Let me guess, you need a recorder. Yes, sir. <laughs> I can help you over here. The pink one is really, really pretty. <laughs> it's the best color in the whole store. Can I try it? Mm hmm. You sure did. We also carry earplugs. I'll take a box. <laughs> okay, they're on the wall by the piano. Okay, thanks. I'll ring you up over here whenever you're ready. Got it. Merry Christmas, Patrick. What a surprise. How are you, Philip? Hey, stranger. Barb, it's great to see you again. You look great. Doesn't he look great? Hey, Katie. What brings you guys in? Oh, well, we, we were heading to the Christmas market, and the little man here wanted to take a look at some musical instruments, so I thought I'd bring him by. You said you wanted to see Kate. What? No, it, that's not what I said. I know I said we'd probably see her, it's because she was. this is her store. I did want to look at the instruments. Yeah. Can you play? Ah, I'm a little rusty on the uh, French horn. But you're a violin 
virtuoso, right? Fine. Well, she learned to play violin right here in the store. Can I try? Sure. Here. Here, check this out. Now, first you need a bow. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but the bow is actually just as important as the violin itself. My grandpa always used to tell me that the right bow is the key to waking up your violin and unlocking the music. Here, try. Okay, here you hold it like this, but the spread your fingers. There you go. Okay, go for it. Hey. <laughs> You're a fast learner. <laughs> so good. Was... Can you teach me? Oh, I, uh... Gavin, no, so... But she's a virtual also. <laughs> I, I know. Well, not at teaching, unfortunately, but... I know someone who is. And I might have to convince him to come out of retirement, though. Tell him we'll try really hard. Okay, I'll tell him. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Kate. <laughs> Thanks so much. Learning a Christmas song is at the top of my list. Your list? What list? This one. Gavin's great big holiday fun list. <laughs> Have you checked it twice? I checked it like a million times. A million times. Looks like the Christmas market is a close second. That's where we're going next. We're gonna give my mom a Christmas present. Mm -hmm. You should come. You, you don't know it's... I could use a little break. That sounds fun. Yeah? Yeah. Great. How's that for being a wingman? It was good. It was real good. Oh, happy that Santa's on his way. Been waiting all year long for Christmas Day. Look at the elves, can I? Yes, go, go, go. Look up to the sky, knowing I might see him on the sleigh. You two are peas in a pod. <laughs> I like spending time with him. So his father passed away two years ago, and then I moved back home after my dad passed. And we just, just kind of bonded. It's really nice that you have each other. I'm sure Anne appreciates it, too. How is she, by the way? Oh, she's great. Um, she's head chef at Maestro's now. That's amazing. I know, right? I know. I'm so proud of her. I guess when life throws you curveballs, right? You gotta keep swinging. You remember that? Of course. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Look at the giant nutcracker. <laughs> it's huge. It's bigger than you. <laughs> Mom will love it. Yeah, she will. I'm going to go pay for it. Go, go pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got the right idea. We are at the Boulder Christmas Market. We should be shopping. We should be shopping. OK, yeah. let's do it. What do you need? Um, OK, for starters, I did draw Dr. Burke for our office Secret Santa. OK. So, so what does he like? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some like a decoration mm -hmm. in the office or something. Mm -hmm. I got this. I got this. What? Mm-hmm. Are you serious? He'll love them. Trust me. Whatever you say. <laughs> Whatever you say. No. Uh-huh. More is more. Yeah. OK. Yes, <laughs> sure. Yes, 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 yes. I trust you. You feel strongly about this. <laughs> All right, who wants to join us to sing along? Oh, you should do it. Come no. on, you have such a beautiful voice. Yeah, thank you, but no. Anyone? Come on, show some Christmas spirit. Be good for your hands. Just don't. I won't. Oh, if you don't want me to, I won't. No. I won't do it. Anyone? Right here. She'll do it. I'm sorry, I had to. You're committed then. You're a terrible person. It came upon a midnight clear. Sure. Ready? Yeah. It came upon a midnight clear, the glorious song of old from angels bending near the earth to touch the of gold, peace on the earth, goodwill to men, 
from heaven's all gracious King. The world in solemn stillness lay to hear the angels sing. I love hearing you play. Not right now. What are you talking about? Uh, remember how you used to tell me that a violin that isn't played goes to sleep and needs to be woken up? Hmm. Yeah, well, this one's like a groggy teenager right now. Sounds to me like that one's been up already and had its morning coffee. Mm. Well, I owe it all to you. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Grandpa, can I ask you something? What is it? Would you ever consider giving lessons again? Oh, I don't think so. I'm retired. But it's for someone special. I uh, don't do it anymore, Kate. I know that it's hard for you, but I miss seeing you in the store. We all do. Don't you miss our Christmas parties, Grandpa? Oh, of course. <laughs> we always had such a blast. Yeah. But ever since Grandma passed, it's just not the same. She was the life of the party. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd give anything to hear her sing again. Especially when you played for her. Well, if you can't find the time for a lesson, I understand. But at least come by the store more often, please. I'll think about it. <laughs> now, how about a little Ave Maria? Uh, I'll try. <laughs> We are pleased to inform you that you are among the final applicants for the position. We appreciate your patience as we make our final decisions. No, I learned my lesson last time. Mm, thanks. Okay, show me some knee extensions. Mm. So, how are things with Kate? With Kate? What do you mean? Come on, this is me you're talking to. It's nice. It's nice seeing her again, reconnecting. But you know, I'm, I'm not getting ahead of myself. Okay, now the left foot. What does that mean? It means the one that's not the right foot. <laughs> she works on the road. Music is her life. And I need to figure out what I want. And what do you want? Right now, I want a caramel apple strudel. Ooh, good choice. Save some for me. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to see some marching. Hello? 
Just me. Oh, Grandpa. Been a while since I've given a lesson. Need to prepare. Really? <laughs> oh. And look what I found rummaging around back there. Is this my own? Oh, no. Don't get all sentimental on me. Can't take tears this early in the morning. <laughs> Grandpa, I remember the day you gave this to me. It was the best Christmas ever. <laughs> well, this thing is dead asleep, huh? Well, maybe there's a kid out there who could wake it up for us. Very good. Gently with the bow. That's it. Index finger here. You got it. It almost sounds like Jingle Bells. <laughs> All right, Mr. Gavin, that's enough for today. I think you've got plenty to work on for next time. Thanks for the lesson, Grandpa Joe. My pleasure. You're a natural. Okay, come on, young Mozart. The North Pole Express waits for no one. The North Pole Express? It's on my list. Top five, in fact. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, does anybody want to come with us? Okay. Grandpa Joe? You go. I'll hold down the fort till you folks get back. Yeah? You sure? You kind of have to come. I have to go. You're on the Christmas list. I added you. <laughs> well, if I'm on the list... It looks like you're on the list. <laughs> okay. We better get going already. Bye, Grandpa. Thanks so much. Goodbye, Grandpa Joe. Have fun. This may have been on Gavin's list, but I have any plans of the sea. This is my favorite thing to do as a kid. It's adorable. I can't believe I never rode the train growing up. You were always busy practicing. Yeah. I'm telling you there are perks to being an underachiever like me. <laughs> okay. Dr. Walsh. <laughs> my dad and I, we probably rode this. We, we just rode it over and over again. Yeah. Probably a thousand times we rode this thing. So I'm not joking. It's fun passing on the tradition. Yeah. He's going to love it. Yeah. I'm really excited to see you. Where should we sit? Definitely the caboose. To you and your kin, the tidings at Christmas. Thank you for getting Grandpa to give him a, a lesson today. I appreciate it. Well, of course. I think he enjoyed it even more than Gavin did. Yeah? <laughs> Good. You know, he visits from Florida all the time, but today was the first day he was actually at the store since Grandma passed three years ago. Oh, is that why you guys stopped doing the Christmas party? It's hard for him being there without her, especially at mm. Christmas. Yeah. I'm so glad that you convinced him to teach again. Mm, yeah, me too. I can't tell you how happy it made me to see him there today. It's like he never left. He is so proud of you. If you do audition for the Philharmonic, I just, I bet you he would move back from Florida just to watch your entire season. Actually, I, I've been afraid to tell you a while back. I muster up the courage to audition. You did? Yeah. What happened? It was amazing. I mean, I don't, I don't think I've ever played that well. And then I hurt my hand the same day. Yeah. Oh, man. That must have been heartbreaking. It was. I mean, especially when they offered me the job and I had to tell them I couldn't take it. I'm sorry, Kate. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's it took me so many years to gain confidence to audition. I just kind of feel like I lost my chance. You know, even if I do heal, I, I may never play like that again. I bet you'll keep trying. The Kate Malone I knew would never give up. Hey, Patrick, we're almost at Candy Cane Crossing. Can I get a few more? You finished already, bud? I'm nine years old. Candy is my life. <laughs> I got you, bud. Can you get a peppermint for me while you're at it? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. 
<laughs> that was awesome. It was awesome. Your cousin is pretty awesome, too. Well, technically, he's my first cousin once removed, but yeah. <laughs> OK. I'm going to really miss him when he leaves. What? Where is he leaving to? Wait, what you... He's going to be a traveling doctor, but I'm still going to try and visit him all around the world. <gasps> is served. Mm. Your father's favorite. Mine too. Thanks. I can't believe this is going to be our second Christmas without him. I sure miss him. Me too. Speaking of your father, have you heard back from Hands and Hearts Abroad? I just got an email from them, actually. Really? What did it say? Well, I'm one of their final candidates. That's incredible. Congrats. They haven't made their decision yet. Um, they could call me tomorrow and tell me I'm the one, or it could be a no. Mm. Patrick, it's a yes. I don't know. It's been so long since I applied. I don't even know if it's what I want to do anymore. I hope this doesn't have anything to do with me. But why would you say that? Because I don't want you to worry about me. I'll be fine if you go. I've been fine on my own for a while now. You need to follow your own path. I know, and I will. Sometimes I feel like I'm holding you back. Life is short. I know. That's why I want to be here with you. You're my mom. Christmas Eve, Grandma. We love you. We love you, Mom. Katie, why don't you play for her? She'd love that.
this year, we have to coordinate with Uncle Stan and do two big turkeys. I'm not gonna run out of turkey this year. <laughs> well then, I guess we can always just, you know, make a pizza. Are you out of your mind? We can't do pizza on Christmas. Well, you can if it's shaped like a tree. <laughs> We're not doing pizza. We could do a potluck. What do you think, Dad? Should we make it a potluck? Or it's to Grandpa. Well, I, I was thinking. Go on. I think Grandma's trying to tell us something. What? What do you say? We bring back the Malone Music Store Christmas party. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. On, under one condition. What? You have to play for us. Grandma wouldn't have it any other way. It's the truth. It's a, it's a tradition. I, I don't know if I'll be ready. I mean, it depends on how my hand is doing. I'm sure it'll dance like a sugar plum fairy. Cool. You think about it. Oh, you know I want to have the Christmas party, Grandpa. You know, I just, I don't, I don't know how I'll be. Come on. <laughs> I promise I'll give it my best. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> And create an email evite. Right, from the store mailing list. Yes, uh, maybe one of your students could spread the word on Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> you know, I thought we might also do a Christmas grab bag. Oh, I love that. I'll put that on your organization list, honey. Hey, what do we think of this for the community boards? It's terrific. That's so good. Great. Oh, oh and uh, trees, honey. We need more trees. We have eight trees in the store. Exactly. We need to expand. Out front, out back, you know, people expect it. Better get some more red bows, too. <laughs> yeah. All right. I gotta run. I love you. I have a PT appointment with Patrick. Okay, bye. PT appointment? With Patrick? Good. Your flexibility seems much improved. I feel stronger. How's your playing? No, it's not 100% yet, but... At least I don't sound like nails on a chalkboard anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, I brought my violin today. I thought, well, oh, maybe if you could see me play, that might be helpful. Absolutely. That's a great idea. <laughs> OK. Any requests? Uh, I've always loved to have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. It's a good choice. Did you notice anything? Beautiful. Beautiful? What? Yes, uh, the, it was you were playing. Your hands were moving beautifully. You're, uh, you really progressed. Thanks. Um, I'm still having some pain. Uh, it's like a dull ache in here. And then my hand gets tired, like, before I'm even halfway through the song. OK. It's totally natural to feel that pain there. Um, your strength, your endurance will improve. For sure, that's just a matter of time. OK. Well, I don't have much time. Grandpa Joe wants to have the music store Christmas party this year. Really? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. When is it? December 23rd. It's like eight days away, and he really wants me to play it. Is that possible? Medically, yes. I mean, your, your, your fractures are healed. Your ligaments are healthy. Um, you're not going to re-injure yourself just from playing. Mm -hmm. um, can you play? I, honestly, in situations like this, it's just a matter of you listening to your body. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's just 
Grandpa really wants me to do this, and I don't want to disappoint him. I can't imagine you would. I know it's just a small show, but the thought of not playing my best on any stage is just kind of terrifying. Oh, wait, does that sound ridiculous? I... It does. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, all kidding aside, I understand how important this is to you. And there's a one-word cure for it. Practice. Chocolate. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, you're right about the chocolate. I feel cured. cured. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm. There's nine other flavors to try, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, I remember coming here with you and your dad when we were little kids. Yeah, my mom would enter the competition with her trademark chili pepper chocolate. That's right. Sure. It was two kinds of hot. That was before we started traveling as a family. With hands and hearts, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. Cool. Yeah. Gosh. He was with them for 15 years. Wow. And now you're following his footsteps. How did you know that? Gavin. Yeah, he squealed on the train yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um... Why didn't you say anything? Because I don't have the job yet. Okay, but I mean, I'm sure you're a shoe in And your dad has such a great reputation with them. Apparently, I'm in the mix. Okay. I just... I haven't heard the final word. Oh, it's strange. I, uh, getting this job has been a lifelong dream of mine. And the closer I get to it becoming a reality, I just don't know that I want it anymore. Why? I'm worried about leaving my mom. She's been making some really great progress with physical therapy. I'm worried if I leave, she might lose motivation. You know, on top of that, I really started to enjoy working here, my own backyard with people I grew up with, with people like you. But then again, if I, if I do get it, following in, in my father's footsteps, honoring his legacy, I think he, he would have really liked that. Hmm. What would you like? I like to dance. I mean, for someone who has no musical talent or rhythm whatsoever? <laughs> yeah. No. Those are your words. Those are not my words. Well, I have a really great partner. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what do you think you'll decide? If they offer me the job. When they offer you the job. <sighs> what will I decide? I was kind of hoping you would help me out with that. How would I? You've always known exactly what you wanted and exactly how to get it. What's your secret? What I do is I, I close my eyes and just clear out the clutter and think about one thing I want more than anything else. And, and I just reach for it. a dozen poinsettias. I called Cheryl, but she only has three white ones left, but they might be getting in some more, so I put a hold on those. Oh, honey, what about the tables for the food? Well, Thelma at the Bridge Club said she'd lend us her card tables. Perfect! But she just called and said now she needs them for a tournament. Oh, dear. Uh, I'll try the church. Pastor Harris has uh, bingo tables. Good idea. Hey, how's uh, decorations going? Well, yeah. you're looking at them. <laughs> okay, then. Let's get to work. Oh, let your father get that, sweetie. Oh, you have fine. to mind your hand. I'm fine. So, anyone want to have a go at this? Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, the caterer is calling back. I have to take this. Uh oh, so. 
no one's been practicing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, Let's try it again. Hear that? Hear what? That's the sound of hard work paying off. We really appreciate the lessons, especially from such a distinguished teacher. Oh, my pleasure. He's a great student. OK, sweetie, let's go. I can't even. What is it? Another caterer turned us down. They said there's not enough time. I, I, I've asked everyone in town. Everyone's busy. It's not like I can just wave my hand and miraculously a caterer will appear. Thank you so much, Joe. Sure. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Hi. <laughs> Are you sure? I, I know how busy my shows must be around the holidays. For the Malone family Christmas party? I'll make it work. <laughs> and I have a bunch of festive themed dishes. There's chicken cord on blue Christmas. Santa baby back ribs. And I'll be ham for Christmas. Oh, those sound wonderful. <laughs> well, I'll call you from the restaurant tomorrow and we can sort out the details. Thank you so much. You don't know how much this means mm. to us. It's my pleasure. Well, if you will excuse me, I am going to try unraveling the lights of Christmas past. Ooh, scary. <laughs> Kate! Are you going to Andy Tess's tonight for Gingerbread House decorating contest? Am I on the list again? No, but Patrick hopes you come. I think he likes you. Kevin! What? He totally does. Uh, how can I turn down a gingerbread contest? Yes! <laughs> okay, Cupid, let's go. <laughs> we out of peppermint. We're out of the peppermint. There's a candy cane if you want. No, can't use a candy cane. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Oh, the marshmallows are so squishy. OK, this is totally embarrassing, but I've actually never made a gingerbread house before, and it's so much fun. <laughs> I've never done this before. Yours looks amazing. What's your secret? I use red m and for the Christmas lights around the windows. Red m <laughs> And that lollipop tree? Genius. Well, he did get that idea from me. <laughs> did not. Come on. I, every year, I do the lollipop trees. Oh supposed to be what this yes it's a reindeer a reindeer yeah <laughs> please that it's a reindeer right it's obvious i can see that it looks more like a lumpy elephant <laughs> <laughs> whoa you're a lumpy elephant hey don't eat my roof that's a delicious roof it's really good okay kiddo i think we better wrap up we got to get going but we still have to pick a winner <laughs> i think it's pretty obvious whoa, whoa. Amazing. How did you do that? <laughs> well, I do have a few years on you in the gingerbread decorating game. She does. Okay, cuz, let's get you packed up here. My favorite are the logs. Yes, yeah. those two. And then like the little clock. It's so cute. <sighs> she did a great job. You like Kate, right? What? Um, yeah, sure, of course I like her. I like her too, but I think you like her. <laughs> what are you getting her for Christmas? I don't know. Well, it better be good, because she's pretty great. Got it. Don't mess this up. OK. Come on, Gav. Coming. Here you go. Get out of here. Glad you came tonight. Yeah, me too. My family is the sweetest. Yeah. So I've been thinking about it. <laughs> me too. Yeah, it was, it was nice. It's nice? Yeah. I thought so. Mm. Really? It sounds like there's butt. No, no. No. No butts. Okay. Um, not. But I just don't want to get in the way of your life. Yeah. Me neither. 
No, no, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. When, when Just be, well, because you're probably going to be going back out on tour. And yeah, I think. I, I mean, I, yeah, I guess that's the plan if I, you know, if I get back to where I was. You're the hardest working person I've ever met. You're going to get back out there. And when you do, I'll be right there. Front row. But if you're not, you know, halfway across the globe. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yes, this is Patrick. Oh, uh, yes, it's very nice to meet you, Dr. Jensen. Right, I, okay. Great. I'm, I'm excited to look it over. Okay, that is... That is great news. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Well, what was that all about? Mom! Oh, don't make a fuss. I just came over for a piece of that eggnog cheesecake. Look at you back on your feet again! <laughs> so proud of well, you. Well, you know, I have the best physical therapist in Colorado. Okay, well, let's get used to cheesecake. Wow. So, that was Dr. Jensen from Hands and Hearts. Mm. I got the job. I told you so! Thanks. What's the matter? Aren't you excited? No, yeah, it, this is great news. It's great. Um, I'm just... I don't know. This isn't about me, is it? No, it's not. Because I know you worry about me. I know you don't want to leave me in the dust. Are you kidding me? The way you're moving around now, it's going to be the other way around. I don't want you to miss an opportunity because of me. You have a gift. Patrick, you need to share that gift with the world. I know. I mean, this was Dad's dream, and for the longest time, I thought it was my dream, too. But, like, so what about this world here? What if, what if there's people who need me here? What if I need people here? This is about Kate. No. Okay. It's about Kate. I, look, I don't even know what I want anymore. Mm. This Christmas has been <laughs> a little unexpected. Have you told her how you feel? I see, I don't see the point because, look, as soon as her hand's totally healed, she's gonna get scooped up by some big orchestra. Or she's gonna go back out on tour, so. Patrick, you just need to tell her how you feel. I don't wanna hold her back. I know that feeling. I wonder what Dad would think of this. He would just want you to be happy, just like I do. Sorry. Mm. It's Kate. Oh. oh, she's having some weird pain in her hand. Sorry, I'm going to have to go meet her at the clinic. I hope she's okay. I'm sure it's okay. I just got to go check on her. Mm. Okay, I love you. Mm. Bye. Be careful. I will. Thank love you. Love you now. Yeah, I was... I mean, how bad is it? We may have to amputate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make light of what you're going through. The pain you're experiencing is totally normal. This is, this is natural? I mean, it, it felt like I pulled something, I don't know what to do. What? You experience something we call phantom pain. It's very common after a traumatic injury. Phantom pain? Mm -hmm. Like, like it's not real? It feels real. Your nerves think it's real, so does your brain. It's tricky. Yeah. And the good news is there's nothing physically wrong. No, it's just all in my head. What? 
But the party's in two days. I. What if this happens again? What if this happens during the performance? What? It could. It could. I mean, there's really no way to predict it. Some studies say it's related to stress. So, you know, what I would recommend is just, just stay positive. Keep working on your exercises and uh, just trust your ability. And hey, lots of chocolate, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for seeing me. I know you're really busy. Well, this is it's my job, so of course I'm going to be here. I'm glad you called, though. Um, I mean, I'm not glad you called because of this, um, but I am glad that you're here right now because I need to tell you something. What is it? I got offered the job. That's that's great. That's amazing. I would start after the new year. The first assignment would be in the South Sudan. What? Wow. What? I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for you. Well, so I haven't given them my final answer. Well, why not? I mean, that's, that's your dream, right? Right. Right. So, but I, congratulations, Patrick. Thank you. Yeah. Um. I should really, I should really get going. Well, wait, Kate, I. I gotta, like, do my exercise to try to keep ahead of this thing and. Can we talk about this real fast? I, I just don't want to. Can you wait uh, until after the party? Sure. Yeah. Thanks. Of course. Thanks, Maxie. Thank you. I love you. You're so good in here. <laughs> Me too. I like. Of course, I find you here. Oh boy. <laughs> I've got to squeeze a month's worth of Christmas shopping into a few days, and it is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> True. There's nothing faint about your heart. Mm -hmm. So, how's Kate feeling? She's she's doing well. She she had a little scare there, but she's going to be fine. And how'd it go with her little talk? <laughs> I told her about uh, the job offer, and she was really happy for me. She was really excited. Mm -hmm. um, and did you tell her how you feel? I tried. Um, Try harder. Look, I know you're torn between staying here and taking this job. You have a lot to figure out, but none of it is going to make any sense until you know what's in your heart. Tell her how you feel. And if you can't tell her, maybe you can show her. I got to go. Good, because you are cramping my Christmas shopping. Love you, bye. Bye. Mm. Mm. Candles. finish the song. Maybe so, but still, it was brave. This injury just really turned things upside down. I mean, not just my career or my chance to play for the Philharmonic. I mean, it's, I don't know, it's, it's more than that. I'm just really confused, Grandpa. Hey. What is it? You know, when I think of my childhood, 
Every memory is tied to music, is tied to the violin. It's such a huge part of me, and I, I love it. But lately, I just, I've been thinking maybe music isn't everything. And that just has me feeling lost. I know the feeling, sweetie. Started the day I met your grandmother. Wow. It's such a foreign feeling. I... Maybe it has something to do with a certain fellow? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh. Have you talked to him about this? I can't. I can't. I can't talk to him. I, I don't want to be selfish. How's that selfish? Patrick gives everything he has to everyone he helps. You know, and all the while, he's been searching for his own dream. Now he finally has it. I don't want to stand in the way of that. I, I can't stand in the way of that. Besides, I'll probably just go back to touring if I ever get my hand working again. And it's like I've been so committed to my music for so long that I've been neglecting your heart. <laughs> Sounds like it's waking up and playing its own music. I'm out of practice, Grandpa. I'm, I'm really out of practice. <laughs> you got this. by the window. The food is a hit. Thank you again, Em. Are you kidding? It is my honor to contribute to a Boulder tradition. Patrick, Tess. Hey, Dr. Dr. Burke. Burke. Uh, thank you for the festive gifts. You're welcome. I had a little help picking them out, though. I hear you may be following in your father's footsteps very soon. Word gets around fast. <laughs> it's been a pleasure working with you. I want you to know that you will always have a home here. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Up next, we have a special treat from a young man who, believe it or not, just picked up the violin a few weeks ago. Give it up for Gavin Adams. to say thank you to my great teacher, Grandpa Joe. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! Oh, and here's a Christmas gift for you. Here, Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, and I've got something here for Kate. Kate Malone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all you kids. Get up here! <laughs> oh. I'll be right back.
heard someone say that the right bow is the key to waking up your violin and unlocking the music. <sighs> it's, it's perfect. And how did, how did you? I may have had a little help from Santa Claus. I'm not a musician. I've never had the talent that you have. But I do know passion. And I know that there's always been something special about you. Wait. I Before you say anything, I have, I have to tell you something. I, I need you to know how much you mean to me. Even from when we were little kids. I loved spending time with you this Christmas. And honestly, I couldn't have gotten through the last few weeks without you. Oh, no. I... Dude, she totally likes you. Don't you have a present to open? He's right. I do like you a lot. And the last thing I want to do is get in the way of your dreams. I know you're leaving. I just, I just had to tell you, OK? okay? My dreams are not overseas. They're right here with you. Really? Yeah. Kate, you've helped me realize that I love what I do. Right here in Boulder, that helping people is my dream. And it doesn't matter where I am, just as long as I'm with you. Deja vu. <laughs> Let's see if I can put this thing to good use.
gotta go. Let's just say you picked the perfect bow. <laughs> Premiering Saturday night. So you think fate knew what it was doing? Catherine Bell and Mark Declan star in an all-new original holiday movie premiere, Meet Me at Christmas. Premieres this Saturday night at 10, only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.